Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com. In the last episode, we made a blog and created some articles in our Building Sites with the Middleman series. Now, this is not exactly what we want as we are de redesigning this site. So if, you, if we take a look at this site, we can see we have video tutorials, which is, let's say, let's call it uh, first blog, and we have text tutorials, let's call that the second blog. So in fact, we need two blogs. Also, you can uh, look at them as custom post types for WordPress if you're coming from that world. So how would you make two blogs or two different uh, types of articles uh, for middleman site? So first of all, we would go to our config.rb and as you can see, we activated our, our blog right here. So what we want to do now, we're just going to do blog.name equals videos okay so this is our first blog so we're going to activate another blog and we're going to call it text so I'm just going to paste this here and do text so we have two blogs now one is called videos uh, the other one is called text okay let's start up our middleman server right now so I'm going to do go middleman server copy this URL right here and go to our browser and OK. So we got a runtime error. Why do we get it? Well, we get this runtime error because we in our index.html.erb file we didn't actually specify uh, which blog uh, should the middleman use. So we're going to do this right now. To define a blog uh, that you want to use you just do this videos and close up this and that's it so if we refresh the page right now we get our page back so let's just change this right here so check out my videos okay I'm going to delete this one BR tag and I'm just going to copy all of this right here and paste it and I'm going to say check out my articles and instead of videos right here so our second blog is called text so I'm going to do text right here okay so if we refresh the page right now we got to check out my videos and check out my articles as you can see they're calling the same two articles. So this is a second blog post, a first blog post, and uh, the same thing is right here. So why is this happening? Of course, we don't want that. Well, it's happening because we made those posts before we made two different types of blogs. So we didn't specify which post belongs to which blog. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to delete these two posts. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one right here and then I'm going to delete this one right here. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, we have to make one more change to the config.rb file and that is, to, uh, that is to define a prefix. So when we define a prefix, block that prefix equals and we are also going to call it videos and then we're going to call this one equals text okay so this is because uh, when we create new articles we want those articles to be in their different uh, folders you will see so if we refresh this page right now we shouldn't get anything of course because we don't have any more articles uh, in middleman so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to create my first uh, my first video article so to do that you have to do this first so middleman let me just delete all of this here so I can show you better. So you do middleman article and then the name of your article. This is a 
video article okay and then you have to define to which blog this article belongs to so you do this flag dash b and you do videos okay now we created the video article so if we, we look at our source now we're going to see that uh, it created this folder right here for us called videos and in this folder we have this article of ours so if we if we refresh the page now uh, nothing happens just a minute I think I forgot to reload middleman okay okay so we got so whenever you make a change to the config.rb you should uh, restart middleman sometimes it reloads in, uh, itself but sometimes it doesn't so as you can see we have our first video article right here we can click on it get back and so on okay let's create one more ar article just to see if this works so I'm going to do middleman article and I'm co going to call this this is a text article text article dash b dash and then we do text instead of videos okay so now we have one more folder right here called text so it's this is very good for organizing your folders so all of your text articles will be in text folder and all of your video articles will be in videos folder it's much better than to have it in the root of the source folder so if we refresh the page now so we have this video article right here and this text article right here but if we look those articles a little bit closer we're going to see some things so if we go to videos we will see that our front matter is currently title date and tags uh, if you remember from the previous episodes I said that the front matter for uh, all your articles is actually something like custom fields uh, for your posts uh, in WordPress so these are the, some fields that uh, you can put data in and display that data somehow so I don't want this to be this way more or less for text articles this is okay so we have just title date and tags we would also like on this text article to have an image so with every article we're going to have an image just like if you if we go to my site and go to text tutorials you will see that this tutorial has a title has some intro text and has an image also if we go in my WordPress administration right now we will see that video tutorials is a dis different custom post types and has some um, fields in it so I'm sorry this is in Croatian but I'm, I'm going to translate it to English so this means a uh, YouTube code so this is the code I use uh, I just put that code in here and WordPress automatically uh, pulls up that YouTube video this is the uh, video time so how much the video uh, is uh, running what's the running time of the video and this is some intro text so we also want those fields uh, to be displayed for us so that we, we can fill them in uh, when we create our, our articles so to do that uh, we would have to make article generating templates so I'm going to do this right now uh, I'm going to make a new file and call it I'm just going to save it uh, I make I will make a new folder and uh, do uh, call it article templates article templates and then I'm going to call this one video template dot erb so no html nothing just video template dot erb okay and then I'm going to go to this file just copy this out paste it right here 
and I'm going to go and write this right here, ERB. Oh, no. So equals, and then I'm going to do at title. So uh, middleman is going to fill this field out for me uh, when I create an article, and I'm going to close it. Okay. So the next field is going to be called date field so I'm going to do this for it at date dot strf time and then I'm going to do f r z so this is uh, Ruby's timestamp and I'm going to close this one out. Okay, so we have those fields filled in. So whenever we create a video template or a video article, it's going to fill out those fields for us. But now we want to add some new fields or new front matter. So let's see what we got in our WordPress administration. So we have a YouTube code. We're going to call it YouTube code okay it's going to be empty I will have to fill it out uh, then we have uh, running time of the vi video so I'm going to call this video actually let's just make it all small caps video time okay and I have intro text so I'm going to co call this one intro text okay and of course I have a featured image right here so I'm going to call this one just image and save this out okay so what I'm going to do next I'm going to go to my config.rb file uh, go to my video blog and do blog dot new article template equals and then we do a path to this template right here so I'm going to uh, write this out I'm going to say source so we have to make path from the root of our project not from the source so we do source then we do article templates article templates and we do video template dot erb and that should be it okay so if, if I save this now I will go to my middleman terminal shut it down and start the terminal again and let's try to create another article so I'm going to do middleman article this is a second video article dash b dash videos okay okay so it created another article let's look at it and as you can see when we click on it we already have the fields that we defined so it has a title this is a second video article it has a date and time and then it has this YouTube code video time uh, intro text image so I will have to change this to image not image age or something like that and tags so if I do let's say video time right here and I can write pretty much anything in it but uh, I will write 1326 so let's say this is the video time I will save this article uh, also I will have to add this to my previous article that I added so I will do this and make this 15 okay and now I can go to my index.html.erb 
and write out the time of the article so I can do dash ERB equals and now you do you don't do just article dot YouTube code you would do article dot data dot what did we call it video time okay video time okay video time video time and save it and it says 4836 okay uh, the problem with this is is uh, the Ruby is uh, transforming this into something uh, so we're going to do it like write it like this okay now we got our video times so I can, as you can see this is a very powerful functionality of middleman you can do pretty much anything with these uh, uh, these front matter or custom fields that you want to use with your articles you can do also do some programming on them and we will do that a bit later in the next videos so I hope you guys like this tutorial of course you can do whatever you want for your text articles I just made this one for videos just to make this video not so long uh, but you can do uh, the same thing for text articles I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, thanks for watching, please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook or like this video, subscribe to my channel if you like this. Also don't forget that all the code for this video is in the GitHub repository, I will leave uh, the link in the description below. See you in the next one.